Establishing the diagnosis of mesothelioma can be difficult. Often people talk about doing a needle biopsy or taking the fluid, and sometimes the diagnosis can be established like that. Often it requires an actual tissue biopsy. And again, because it is such a rare cancer, it's common for the diagnosis to either not be established the first time or to be the wrong diagnosis because it can look like other diseases, especially lung cancer that is spread inside the chest cavity, that are much more common. So it is, it's, it is important that the pathology be reviewed by a pathologist in a center where there's knowledge and experience in, in, in looking at this cancer. There are basically three subtypes of the cancer. Although mesothelioma is the cancer that starts in the line of the chest cavity, it comes in, in three different varieties, basically. One is the so-called epithelial subtype, which is the most common. There's another one that's called the sarcomatous subtype. And then there's one cleverly called mixed, which has elements of, of both. The epithelial subtype which is the most common, is the one that is most amenable to surgical intervention. The other two subtypes, the ones that have the sarcomatous elements, either pure or in combination, are mixed. But it is important to know how much of the sarcomatous elements are there because there are, in fact, investigational trials, clinical trials, that are open for patients with mixed subtypes of the cancer but only if it's a 50% or less. So again, having the pathology reviewed at a, at a center of excellence where they have experience, where the pathologists have experience looking at the cancer is very important because everything hinges on what that diagnosis is.